welcome to Happy Eerie People, Places and Things. I'm Sherry McBride. Live with me in the studio this morning. Now, he's known as Big Wash, but it's Abdullah Washington. Good morning, Abdullah. Now, I don't know whether to call you Big, Big, Big Wash or Abdullah. What, what, what do you prefer? <laughs> That's fine. Either way. Either way. Well, you know, um, I, I don't... How would you describe to people, because, you know, most people that come in and join me this morning, you know, maybe they represent a nonprofit, they represent, you know, a, a corporation uh, that's giving back to the community, but you are, for all intents and purposes, an area. You're a citizen that cares. Right. Absolutely. Along with a whole group of citizens that right. care about a particular thing, and that is the McBride Viaduct. Yes. So tell me... Uh, a little bit of your background and how it got to where you are, where we are today about the McBride Viaduct. Well, um, I grew up on the east side uh, when I was a kid. And, um, you know, I moved away for a while, but when I came back, I saw one of the, uh, the issues. I, well, obviously, um, I hadn't been here. I just got back here like six years ago. And, um, you know, everybody complains about blight on the east side. And it's true. A lot of things... Uh, Erie, this area has suffered economically in many respects. Uh, so one of the things I noticed was, you know, the condition of the neighborhoods. I have a 10-year-old son, and when he's here, when I'm here with him, I like to go and do the same things I did when, when I was that age. Right. And unfortunately, you know, you can't do a lot of those things. And, and when I got involved in, in scouting years ago here, pretty much in the first year or two that I got here, um, one of the parents... Uh, had several kids, and they would take the McBride Viaduct uh, home from school and back and forth like a lot of kids do uh, over on the east side. And and for people, um, uh, Abdullah, who, who really don't know, uh, you know, our, our worlds can be very small. It's kind of just like just the things that affect us. I think that's pretty much human nature. What is the McBride Viaduct? Well, it was uh, established, it was created in uh, 1938, I believe, and... Um, it's a it bridge. Was, it's a bridge, yeah, on the east side. And um, it was set up to help kids uh, get over the tracks there. Well, people in the neighborhood in general get uh, get over the, the tracks, the railroad tracks down there. Uh, some children had died. And that's one of the big concerns because there are a lot of people, as, 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 as many cars as there are, there are still people who walk. Uh, and walkability is a big issue in areas, particularly on the east side in that area. And we're just concerned for the safety of the children. That is our primary concern. Now, hopefully the side effect of getting involved in saving the viaduct, it gets people more involved in the city and gets people to know their neighbors more and care about each other more and, and, and demand things uh, that we need for the city, especially in this time where there's an opportunity for the city to really, really grow. But it does take a connection. It does take a, a growth in the level of respect we have for each other. And we're just here to protect these kids. It, and, um, you know, of all things that people talk about, you know, locally, probably the McBride Viaduct is the thing, at least that I can think of right off the top of my head, that really you have um, people who are really um, just so passionately for it. And then you have another big group that are so passionately against it and, and want it to come down. What is, if, if you had to argue for it to come down, what is their main contention that you know we, we not keep it is it the cost of of make sh making sure it's okay of rebuilding it what 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 is the their thing well they say a lot of things uh cost is certainly one of them there's some people who argue that it's redundant but i would certainly argue if you live in that area and you need to get back and forth and you're not blessed to have you know tra your own personal transportation uh you need it there are people who definitely need that that bridge. And taking the connector, I mean, we just had one of the worst winners, you know, <laughs> in Ever. Right, right. In this area. And we're pretty hardy people, and we didn't like it. Yeah, but when, you know, with that connector was filled up with snow. And I would challenge anybody to, like, you know, I mean, that's not a typical Erie winter, but typically, you know, it's not easy to get around in general. And, and the viaduct with its width... Um, and its separation from all that uh, awful traffic, especially the blind spots up there on the Bayfront connector around there, the 
viaduct is a is a for many reasons a very safe option and that's why people in the area choose to use it now i, I think it's great you know if you want to help somebody you can have all the best intentions in the world but you have to meet them where they are and the viaduct is one of those issues um on the east side with its many with its many difficulties uh, supporting the viaduct is a way to meet people where they are and get them involved in the process of of of, of creating building neighborhood spaces and improving Erie. And I think of it as a win for everybody. Uh, there were people, we're so used, we're so complacent and used to thinking that we cannot do things in Erie. And what's funny is a lot of experts have been here who, you know, they do this stuff across the country. You know, the viaduct is not like a brand new concept or a crazy concept. Cities that revise, you know, revitalize themselves, that's one of the things that they do. It's very common. And people who know about that know how to get the resources for it it's, it's not really a so much a budgetary issue at all it's the idea of who's willing to be involved and i think meeting poor people where they are is a way to validate them and 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 get the types of improvements you know the self-improvement that people talk about is so lacking in this area it would really be served by supporting the viaduct what, where is the, the the viaduct situation right now? Like, where does it stand today? Like, where is it at? Is it coming down? Is it staying? Are people still talking? It seems like people are still talking about it, which which is good. At least people are still talking. Right. Well, I mean, one of the things is there's a uh, there's a civil rights suit, um, which I'm, I'm one of the people participating in it uh, because we do want equity in our city. And, and one of the important things is that is that poor people and people in areas that aren't really spoken for, like the east side, unfortunately, uh, aren't given the same type of voice uh, in our city as people in other areas. There's all kinds of spending on, on projects that are redundant on the west side. And not to say that this is a redundant project, to say at least because people actually need it, but like they're building up gates in, gated, in, in secluded communities in Erie for millions. Corners that need like really basic adjustments are getting millions. Um, and the viaduct, if the mayor were to take it off of the destruction list, there'd be all kinds of money available for it that the people who oppose it aren't even, they're not willing to even talk about publicly because they know it's true as well. Uh, so we really do see it as an issue of have and have nots. And if Erie's going to improve, we have to make this place a city that embraces everybody who's already here. I mean, there, uh, the New York Times article, there was somebody in the mayor's camp talking about, you know, people on the east side aren't the kind of neighbors that he'd want to have. I mean, like, that's that's terrible. I mean, that's a terrible point of uh, a start, a starting point uh, for people to have a discussion about a good Erie being a good place to raise kids. We need to change that. We need to embrace each other and support each other. Amen. So, uh, you know, I know that they're, you're asking, I think, the, the people that are for it. Uh, there's a, you just want a hearing. And there was something that I read, something about a hearing, Abdullah. Yeah, a public hearing is what we're demanding uh, because, you know, a lot of smoke has been blown. A lot of things have been thrown against the wall, um, you know. And in this era of, I, know, I hate to say fake news, I mean, there's just been so much said that it's hard for a lot of people to follow with. I mean, but basically, we just want a public hearing so that, and what that does is it makes it so that people only use the facts in the discussion because people will be held accountable. They can be held accountable for, for saying things that just aren't true. And a lot of untruths have been spoken about the viaduct. And I think, I mean, especially on the east side, especially being someone from the black community, there's this idea that somehow we can't have a community college and have the viaduct at the same time, which is just utterly bizarre. Anyone who knows anything about raising funds for these types of things knows that the mayor just simply needs to take it off the destruction list. And then other people from across the country, let alone the world, would be willing to give you know this money to help show the east side finally you know, some respect. Now, if you're looking for Erie Connect, Protect, and Respect, Erie CPR, uh, we can be found on Facebook as well as erieviaduct.com. Um, but that's really what it is. I mean, there's a lot of changes happening in Erie, and we just want everyone to be treated with respect, uh, regardless of what neighborhood they come from in Erie. And one of the big misses that we fell into with complacency is not being, not actually showing up to vote. You're not helping local leaders make decisions if you're not making yourself be counted. And we're just asking for everybody to 
should be engaged and concerned about uh, the processes in the city will only make us a stronger city and county. Abdullah Washington, um, thank you so much uh, for your time this morning. I know you, you represent a lot of people that are very passionate about this. You work hard. It's your own time. It's your own sweat equity. Um, you mentioned the Facebook page and the website. One more time, Abdullah. Yeah, Erie's Connect, Protect, Respect, Erie CPR, and www.erieviaduct.com. Well, thank you so much, uh, Abdullah Washington. Big wash. We also have regular meetings oh, good, uh, every good. Sunday at, at 3. Oh, so, um, so you'll have one this afternoon. That is actually going to be at... So he's finding out. He's going into his <laughs> iPad to find <laughs> out. He's very wired. He's wired right <laughs> now. St. Anne's Church at 921 East Avenue. Um, so at 3 o'clock today yeah you can't you can't and uh, it's every sunday at saint anne's church at 320 or sorry 921 east avenue Thank there you. you go that's nice so people can go by maybe they can meet you uh talk to some uh, other people and if they have any questions so thank you abdullah and thank you for your time this morning uh we'll be back again uh a week from today this coming sunday at six o'clock have a wonderful happy day i'm sherry mcbride